BTS is officially ranked 19th on the greatest pop stars of the 21st century list by Billboard. Should they be that high or should they be higher? Recognized for breaking barriers in K-pop and boy bands while inspiring a global community through messages of positivity, love, and connection. Coming in at number 19, we've got BTS. Whoa, so this is Billboard ranking and not next shark not some asian site this is billboard whites whites a lot of whites voted for this now david who did they rank above all right let's take a look andrew 50 cent are you surprised they even consider 50 cent pop In, star come on got, guys he got shot nine times guys alicia keys billy eilish i was kind of shocked about that one cardi b I didn't know she was a pop star. Carrie Underwood, I thought she was a country star. Chris Brown, I'm surprised he wasn't on the list, but let's be honest, we know why he's not on the list. He, he should probably be higher, but yeah. Christina Aguilera, she didn't have a hit since 06. Okay. Number 25, Andrew, this was controversial. Some, some people, I don't want to say who they were, some people were mad at this. They ranked over Katy Perry, Ed Shireen, Bad Bonnie. One Direction, Lil Wayne Woo! at 21. I didn't know Lil Wayne was a pop star either. Number 20, Andrew, this guy's had some massive, massive hits. Bruno Mars. Whoa. Number 19, we've got BTS, but above BTS, Andrew, and the BTS army was a little bit mad about this, Andrew, because they haven't revealed everybody, was The weekend? Wow, guys, above Katy Perry, One Direction, Ad Bad Bonnie. Is and that a little high for The weekend? I don't know, but if you- the week, add, He's like an R&B guy. If you're adding in rappers as well, that means Drake's somewhere on the list up there. So anyways, guys, basically, this list is including pretty much any artist that had a pop hit in the 21st century, and these are some huge names. So for BTS to be ranked even at 19, is pretty high, but I think there's an argument that they should be higher. So I guess we're going to talk about, David, the five impacts that BTS had, you right. know, especially from an Asian guy perspective or an Asian American perspective, at least, because I think that they're ranking heavily on impact, like not just on views, right? right. Not just on number one hits. but And, and I also do think they're going off time based on the Billboard Global 100, though. Right. So how let, long have they been on the Billboard charts? Let, let's take a look at their number one songs, Andrew. Ah, 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 Dynamite, Savage Love, Life Goes On, Butter, Permission to Dance, My Universe. Also, albums, Love Yourself, Love Yourself, Map of the Soul, Map of the Soul 7, B, and mm. Proof. Yeah, and I want to say one other metric that uh, they pointed out and another reason why BTS is so high is because they were saying how when they all went to have solo careers people still checked out their solo careers. Right. There's a lot of boy bands out there, even in sync, where really none of them, except Justin Timberlake, had a significant solo career. JC Chavez had one track. Not significant, man. No, you're right. The other people basically flopped as solo artists. Lance Bass. Um, real quick, I just want to talk about how I interface with BTS over the past couple years, Andrew, because I don't fit into the typical army demographic. However, I do remember Andrew, J-Hope from BTS did a song with J. Cole, mm -hmm. and J. Cole actually gave him a super good verse. Usually American rappers give overseas artists like very mid-tier verses. He gave him a super good verse, and here's J-Hope dancing at Delancey Street and Bowery train stop. Oh, oh person, no connection. Andrew, this is BTS with President Biden mm. to for stop Asian hate. Right. And I mean, they they did a music video at the White House too. And not only that, Andrew, they had the, they're the first Asian artist to ever have the McDonald's celebrity meal that debuted in America, not just the Asia market. Oh yeah, man. Um, by the way, Andrew, recently RM just this past week released a song with Megan the Stallion, Andrew, where he said, Yeah, me and Megan on the way for Asia Man, we paved the way. Mm. And that's been generating some pros and cons lately right. on the internet from right. some people being mad saying hey rm why are you guys so cocky now ah well hey man they are at the top of the world they are number 19 for a pop artist so i guess david let's get into the list of why we think bts is so significant there's five main reasons why and then we'll talk about like you know what the comment section said and maybe if our personal lives were affected by bts could that be? Hey, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Smile Lost Sauce on Amazon right now. Number one, Andrew, BTS broke so many barriers for Asian artists, whether they were Asian American or from Asia, Asia, just phenotypically Asian, Andrew, in the Anglosphere. Mm. Billboard is based in America. American people, Andrew, are famous for not liking cultures that aren't basically 
American. Right, yeah. I mean, listen, guys, BTS, a bunch of Asian guys. Some people are going to say that they look alike or they have similar hairstyles. Regardless, they are all very Asian-looking, undeniably Asian. Well, not and even all of them are fluent in English. Yeah. Only RM is really, like, a, like, very, very fluent, right? Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's not really about if every American, like, down the street, like, our neighbors care about BTS, it's actually because they're just a global icon. They're globally killing it. Right. And, and do you feel like Bad Bunny was is big for Spanish music? However, if you looked at Andrew Bad Bunny, Ricky Martin and Selena and J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez had broken it for the Spanish market prior. Yeah, and, and guys, of course there was K-pop groups before BTS. We understand that. You know, uh, there was girl groups, Wonder Girls. I mean, Blackpink is, is Blackpink on this list? Ooh, would Blackpink be it? I, I think, think Blackpink is below BTS. Because this is a Billboard Anglosphere list. How, uh, how, I mean, honestly, 19 is pretty high for an Asian act, right? Yeah, yeah, but but yeah, I doubt that Blackpink is higher than BTS, so they're probably not, I guess, not Yeah, I mean, list. basically, long story short, Asians almost never get in the pop list. Yeah. I don't think they ever have. Actually, maybe yeah. since like way, way, way back in the mm -hmm. day with uh, Sukiyaki. Yeah, point number two, David, BTS has really just exposed what an Asian guy is to a bunch of young fans across the world. And now those people have an image of an Asian man or an Asian person that is so different than generations before. So this is like representation. And this is like, what I'm saying is like, you know, when they do concerts in Mexico or they did it in Brazil, UAE, and France, you're talking about like Sweden. Hundreds of thousands of people showing up. Tens of thousands, at least, if not 50,000, whatever, 40. These, these are gigantic concerts, some of them are, right? And, like, you got, like, when would you have thought that a group of Asian men would be packing out a stadium of, like, 25, 30,000 people? Yeah, I mean, I guess the only thing that had penetrated those markets and was popular with the Asian man was Goku with Dragon Ball Z. But that is not real. Right, and we're talking about these are people who are coming to a concert to dance to the music. David, you know the music that people dance to is very, very important. That affects how people feel about them. So when you're out in UAE and BTS is selling out concerts in UAE, who, in Sweden, whoever is the snake charmer is uh, no, the I'm maracas just saying, yeah. touch the chakras. Yeah, yeah, and it just influences them from a young age and now our representation of an Asian person is so different. Yeah. Um, point number three, Andrew, inspiring other Asians to uh, on how they should view themselves. Yeah, and I think that this is not to overlook, oh, just the impact to non-Asians. Oh, non-Asians. What do non-Asians think about Asians? What do Asians think about Asians, you know? Mm. you know, and, what, and sometimes, like, when you're growing up in the West or anywhere, even you, you're just, like, informed by the media to set the ceiling for yourself, yeah. right? Yeah, and I want to be honest, David, not every Asian guy or Asian person feels like BTS affected their life super positively, right? And that's okay. I don't think every Asian person has to agree that, oh, BTS changed my life. Because I don't even know, like... Do you it, think BTS changed your life? I, because you, how? you may have a more uh, pop star silhouette than myself. I think more K-dramas affected me, if anything, of, the, of how maybe perhaps women may perceive Asian men. I think K-dramas affected the average Asian man more, but BTS are global stars because less people look like pop stars. Pop stars, they look like, they have crazy styles. For the younger, the younger community though, you don't know because you're not, you're not living the life of a... I'm not a young boy. I don't know. But you know, I'll tell you this. Like, I think it's just inspiring because like, I know that when you see breakthrough artists that come from a similar culture or look like you, it's very inspiring because you're like, oh, mm. people like me can do it. And you can't hit a target that you don't realistically feel like you can aim at yeah. if you're not ambitious enough. Point number four, Andrew, people follow all of their solo careers, which doesn't always happen. Like we said, Andrew, you've got Jungkook, RM, Suga, J-Hope, Jin, and Jimin, and V. David, these are the names of pops, of, of the members that people actually know. Like, I'm just saying, like, BTS might be the only, like, one of the few groups that people actually know the names of the members, and they're not even the biggest fans. Like, yeah, I'm not I even the Suga wrong. It's Suga. Suga, yeah. yeah. I'm not even the biggest fan of BTS, right? I don't bump their music all the time, obviously. But, like, I even can name off the top of my head pretty much all the members. Yeah, I, I think RM always stood out to me because I could, like, actually listen to his interviews, and his voice is really deep. It's like, yeah, we paved the way yeah. for Asia. 
Art Rim. And then you got Jungkook coming out there being real edgy with the denim jacket. And the, the, the. Mm, it, did that inspire you to, Monday, get, to, Tuesday, to, craft, your, Thursday, to craft your aesthetic for Funkook? Funkook? Uh, point number five, Andrew. Everything coming out of BTS was almost always positive. Very little negative things. Maybe a few mishaps here or there, but nothing degenerate. Obviously, nothing like Sungri from uh, 2 p.m. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, obviously no big scandals, you know, just a couple like IG stories of some controversy. The Frank Ocean really. song from RM. Yeah, right? not, I mean, yeah, I don't really, nothing really. Guys, they have been so positive, and this is why they rank that high. Is because they are really like, whether it's by design, you can say, oh, well, that's what is in their contract. They have to be positive. I think they're all nice people at their heart. They've only done positive things. They've tried to represent the best they could. Whether or not they are representing for your exact type of Asian or silhouette of Asian or, like, obviously, we know all not, like, very few Asian guys actually look like them in real life. But I'm saying, like, the fact is they have always spread a positive message, which you cannot say for almost any other artist on that list. Right. They almost became like, a, I don't want to say like, a, I was going to say a religion or like a cult following, but it's not to that level. Yeah. But I will say this point numbers. I'm just going to add this extra point because I just thought of this. The army, the ability to organize people and mobilize them for different initiatives and things like that online is like unparalleled yeah. from any pop star prior. Yeah. And, and you're right. And like, I think that... And oftentimes they're doing good things, right? Yeah. No, it's like, usually all good for the most part. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they've ever called their fans to do something bad. I, they never have. So I think like, I think we have to take all these into consideration and just be like, yo, BTS has been a positive force. Again, I know there's Asian guys out there who are like, oh, BTS. We're going like, to get into that. We're going to get into, into that. It, man. Let's take a look at the comments section. Somebody said... IMO, they deserve to be higher on that list. Their ability to claw out a space within music, media, and arts has done a generation's work for inclusivity. BTS truly paved the way. Somebody else, I believe she's from Indonesia, said, why 19? White supremacy again, huh? And basically, I think that this is so crazy, Andrew, because people understand the world through the things that they're into, right? So for the first time, Andrew, the army, they're seeing their number one people with that they love with all these billboard hits, but them sometimes not getting recognition or getting racism from like Western VJs, whether it was, a, you know what I mean? And not specifically America, but any Western country, right? Mm. So it's actually like, a vehicle for people to understand like their place in the world because you have this Asian pop group trying to break into the English sphere that typically has rejected or not been fully into Asian things. Mm. So I think that that's what's fascinating about it. Somebody said girls' generation should be there. Would you put it up there, Andrew? No, BTS is bigger. Okay, and this guy, let's go to your, address your comment, Andrew. Somebody said, also number one in making Asian men look less masculine. I know some people feel this way and we got to address it because we're Asian guys. And I think that of anybody, Asian guys are going to think this way because obviously they Asian but, guys who want to look masculine, who are like, oh, why do we have these skinny, flowy hair, like kind of like soft, like Asian guys representing us. And I'm like, that's not the only representation we have. But yes, I could see some guys feel this way, right? Right. Um, I would say this, man. Like, I think even, like, guys from Korea could agree with you that K-pop is feminine, but they would just be like, yeah, but there's also more other guys that I could look at. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm saying if you're only looking at BTS as your only source of representation, I guess, and you're wrapping up all your expectations for every facet of your life into that, that seems kind of ridiculous. You got Physical 100. Just go look at that then. Yeah. Also, guys, I mean, no single pop group can make Asian guys look feminine if Asian guys look as feminine. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying Asian guys look feminine. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if they do and they look like them, then that's the reality. It's like, don't look like them then. No one's going to look at David like, no, you know, no offense here. No offense. I don't know if that many people look at you and be like, hey, are you part of BTS? I am offended. <laughs> Like, uh, no one's going to, like, and if let's say you're like, hey, uh, I don't look the same way as BTS. It doesn't fully affect you because you don't look like them. Right, right. I look more like almost a mini version of that one big Korean dude from Marvel, Madang Suk, or whatever his name was. You mean the Badland Hunters on yeah, Netflix? Yeah. The guy that... The huge mean, guy with the huge head. You mean the Korean guy who does, who's mar who does martial arts? He's a boxer and stuff? I don't know. Anyways, you I, would know better than I'm, me. I'm, I, I forgot. Anyway, guys, let me just get into my takeaways, man. I'll just say this. I think uh, shout out to BTS, man, for them to break the English speaking world. 
is crazy. And for them to have their global fan base and bring that global fan base into the English speaking world, even though most of their songs are primarily in Korean, it's a huge accomplishment of the past 25 years. Yeah. And, and, and hey, guys, uh, my takeaway is like, hey, if you feel like BTS makes you feel less masculine, then you must not be masculine. But isn't Jungkook a little bit more masculine? I feel like as his solo career developed, yeah. it was the most conventionally masculine. Yeah, like it's one of those things where I feel like because they're popular that they don't really affect you that negatively, I guess is my argument. My argument is that because they're a positive celebrity and they're famous for doing something good, that even if you don't relate to them or you think you're different than them, that, that it doesn't affect you and it doesn't change and hold you back on how the things you can do in life. Right. And also there's these great, uh, if you want something that's like less pop, there's like uh, these Korean R&B artists, Thama, Gemini. Mm -hmm. They're super good right now. Like, yeah. yeah, it's great. I don't even understand what they're saying, but it's just yeah, great music. There's not music. only BTS out there and there's also K-dramas, there's C-dramas. I think... Uh, maybe, David, this is another video that K-dramas and C-dramas do more for the average Asian guy than pop music does. Yeah, but I think that if you were in elementary school or something like that, maybe for sure it would be BTS. Hey, guys, we gave our reasons. You give your reasons down below, man. Let us know. I mean, how impactful was BTS? Their career's not even over yet, and they're already at 19. Who knows? Well, maybe no, they're, the they're coming out of the army now because they all had to go in to do mandatory military service for two years. So now they're oh, one by one coming out. They back and you went know what I, training, you know, you know what I would love to see? I'd love to see them come back, take over the global game again. But yeah, now they've got all the weapons training, the hand-to-hand -hand combat training. Maybe make it a little bit more because they're all actually hip-hop dancers and rappers at their core. So let's bring even more of that in. Oh, what if they kind of come back BTS hard? That J-Hope, J. Cole song is really good, man. It is. It is good. All right, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.